Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I am back here with another video and you know we are in the month of spring so I decided to think orange. Yeah, orange. Let's think orange. Because <laughs> I've never had orange eyeshadow before, like on my eyelids. So I thought I should try something new and just improvise on the spot. That's why I like editing, you know. Editing, you won't know like what went on. <laughs> you won't know what went on. So half of the time, I'm just sitting there thinking, what color should I use? What should I do next? But yeah, so I just came up with a little cut crease and a bit of glitter. Spice it up a little bit. <laughs> so I hope you guys do enjoy this video and tell everybody, everyone that you know, every girl, every aunties every uncles every cousin you know that i've got a new video up you know get them to come to my channel and subscribe and also watch all my videos and see how far i have come i'm joking but yeah so i really miss filming so yeah i painted my old old room my old room and decided to turn it into a filming studio and here so yeah so i shall see you guys on my next video and please do write your comments and i'll see you on my next one kiss so so let's get started here i'm using my mac paint pot as my base color and i'm just using a fluffy brush to brush this all over my eyelid and the mac paint pot i use it layla I think it's Lalo, yeah. Thank you, Nelly. It was Nelly who literally I saw it on her video and I was like, cool, I miss using this. So I went back to buy it. <laughs> so here I'm using this new Smashbox palette. Oh my gosh, when I tell you guys, I am so impressed. I am literally so impressed. Their colours are so pigmented now. I'm using this burnt orange as my transition colour. It's so good. Like literally. This palette is literally my go-to. I've put my Morphe away just for a sec. Just for a sec. It's going to be back. It's going to be back. <laughs> so I'm going back with the same Smashbox palette. I'm using like this pinkish tone. I was literally just playing around with colours, guys. To see what I'll come up with. And way <laughs> you'll see what happens at the end so i'm using the mac 224 brush to blend all of this in blending it in i swear i keep saying this i really need to get a new one because pff, this one is literally hanging on <laughs> it's proper hanging and i'm going back with the palette again to highlight underneath my brow bone I don't usually do this very often like most of my makeup look I hardly do this part but I thought I should try it today I think it turned out okay <laughs> so I'm doing it to the other yeah, eyes I don't know what happened to this footage my face just looks orange I don't know what you guys can see on your screen but yeah on my screen here it looks orange I don't know what happened I'm so upset but I gotta do it so I'm just using my blending brush to try and blend the colors together I'll go back with that burnt orange from the um from the Smashbox palette and back at it again I'm using the last dark shade they have and I'm trying to just create a smoky eyes really and do you know what guys this is one of my first brushes I ever bought from Sigma I bought the the set so i only have their crease brush left i can't find the rest of it i think all my friends have taken one by one by the way yeah so i'm going back with that mac paint pot and i'm going to draw my cut crease so just cleaning it up trying to see where i want my um main color to be really oh yeah i'm using my um my brow my eyebrow um brush it's an angle brush so i'm using that to like create my cut crease this is a quick and easy way of doing cut crease guys 
I used to think, oh my gosh, how on earth do you do cut crease? But yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I did say I want to put my Morphe palette away, but yeah, I managed to grab it in this video <laughs> to um get the orange out because you know spring is here, sunshine is here for us guys even though here in the uk is a bit cold but the sun is still there the, the sun is hanging on so i'm just patting that eyeshadow pat 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 all over as you can see i'm not going like in towards the end of my well towards the corner of my eyes i'm not dragging it there because i want to get a little bit lighter orange just a little bit lighter on the lighter side so I'm putting that on there, still patting, dabbing should I say, or pat, yeah, I'll use pat, yeah, just patting that through, I hope you guys do find this video quite okay, because my laptop is old, and I'm trying to do my best, but anyways, I'll change that later, soon, next week, my next video won't be like this, so I'm just going with this um, eyeliner, this is a liquid liner, I got this from the hair shop, it's called Vital, I'm just using that to do my wing liner, oh my gosh, I was so nervous, I was like, oh my god, I'm doing eyeliner in front of the camera, <laughs> god help me, but yeah, I managed to do something, a little something, something for you guys, hopefully, it's all right so I'm going with this gold um, glitter I got this glitter off eBay I'll probably put the link down below and I'm just you know spicing it up a little bit just going over it you had to be I had to like proper concentrate guys I was proper like yeah this needs to be straight it needs to be bang on point because I'm not gonna do it again <laughs> so yeah I'm just doing that and after that I'm just gonna go and put in my um put just a regular mascara prep it for the eyelashes these lashes I used to sell them unfortunately I don't at the moment I'm working on something okay <laughs> but yeah so I'm using um toffee concealer and uh, on my um I'm trying to conceal, you know, conceal, bring that, snatch that face. Oh yeah, I forgot to, what do you call it, my camera cut off, but I put um, NYX eyeliner. It, it's sort of like, it's eye pencil. It's sort of like um, nudish kind of colour. I put that on my waterline. And yeah, if you guys want like a full detail on how I highlight and contour my face, I think I've got a video on that somewhere on my channel so just go ahead and have a look and how i did it oh yeah i also mixed my um concealer my i mixed the toffee with um is it kevin aquan concealer and i think it's in shade 12 s x 12 yeah i'll write the i'll write everything i'll write all the products down below i'm just blending that out and i'm going with the anastasia beverly hills to contour my face as you can see i need a new one yeah so i don't really use cream contour very often i don't really do the whole cream contour very often i mainly do it for the camera or for the videos or for my clients i don't really do it on me that often i'd rather just go go for the um powder and just contour my face with powder that's all the faces i make lord oh my gosh so here i'm snatching my nose he you now as you can see is changing already so i'm mixing the sasha buttercup with my laura mercier translucent powder i'm just highlighting where i put my concealer and i also did some reverse contour as well yeah, there we go. Put some highlight under there to snatch that big old face. Sorry, I make funny noises, funny voices when I talk sometimes. But yeah. Oh my gosh, why do I look so serious? Lord, fix up your face. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, I'm blending that all in. 
I don't know, I look, my neck looks a bit darker, but I tell you guys, yeah, in real life, that's not how my makeup looks. My neck does not look darker, it blends very well, but all of these lights in front of me, only God knows. So yeah, I used um, LA Pro Girl Powder, it's their HD powder and just to contour my face to set that um cream contour contouring my nose you know trying to set that cream contour once again and yeah oh my gosh this part i love to do this when i want my under eyes to look bright i just use my beauty blender to press the product in instead of dusting it off guys if you like your bright under eye look yeah try this technique just press it in so um i'm using my mac press powder it's in nw45 i think but I'll write it down below anyway to blend everything in. And this is the NYX blush. It's an orange blush. I'll write that down too. I think it's called Amber though. I remember it being Amber. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, you know, adding some colour. Guys, highlights. <laughs> you know me. So I used the LA one first to highlight my Cupid's bowl, my nose, above my cheek. You know, that wasn't enough and I had to go grab on my Inglots one. Guys, I was literally singing. <laughs> I was singing there. Yeah, to make it more pigmented, what I do is I spray some setting spray. <laughs> my face in this, Jesus. Yeah. Let's put some setting spray on it to make it more pigmented, guys. That is the trick. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. But I like my highlight to pop. So yeah, I'm just cleaning that end, clean it up. So here I'm just using the um, MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil and I'm outlining my lips with that. And I'm also using the um, LA Splash Liquid Matte Lipstick. Yeah, I'm going to write it down below what shade it is. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and do thumbs up if you do and yeah, I shall see you on my next